It's been a while since I made one of these videos. It's been about six months, um, to be precise. But I thought it was about time to do it again because they're a lot of fun to make, just talking about stuff that I like. I want to be a lot less uh, structured in this video as well because I just have bullet points instead of like an actual script of stuff I want to talk about. So hopefully it's not just all over the place. But this time I want to talk about Spider-Man having gone and seen Spider-Verse in theaters twice now. Pretty good movie. Um, it's really getting me to go through my Spider-Man phase again, which uh, happens every so often, every every couple of years. What, uh, um, when Far From Home, or no, when No Way Home came out, and when the first Spider-Verse movie came out as well. Kind of on a cycle about every every couple of years, I think 2018 and then 2021, not 2020. So every two years, Spider-Man Spider phase comes back. And it's really reminded me a lot about growing up with the Tobey Maguire movies, or the I guess the Raimi movies. Seeing seeing the recent Spider Verse movie really made me like. I remember seeing um, in the Raimi movies in Spider Man Three the the Venom suit for the first time. I was like, yo, that's so. Yo, do you see? That? He's so cool. And I remember seeing that for the first time, and I was like, yo, that's awesome. And in the in the Spider Verse movie, seeing. Um, Miguel O'Hara <laughs> be like yo that's he's so he's so cool kind of thing it just got me thinking about why Spider-Man as a character is just awesome why he's so cool and why people keep going back why, 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 there, why there's still stuff being made about him after however many years since he was made this many here this many years because he's just such an such an iconic character, such an iconic he's such an iconic personality and story. Everybody everybody knows the line with great power comes great responsibility. It's like one of one of the sup one of the superhero movie lines, if not the superhero line. This movie this movie has really got me thinking about just about Spider-Man. Like wow, there really are a, there's a, there's so many there's so many renditions, there's so many different adaptations and movies and, and whatnot about him. And there continue to be more and more made about him every every couple of years. I guess, I guess every year there's there's more and more stuff coming out um, that's Spider-Man related. And I think it's because Spider-Man as a character is just so relatable in a sense because there, there was some interview with um, Andrew Garfield way back when The Amazing Spider-Man was first coming out. And he was talking and Andrew was talking about how Spider-Man made him feel as a kid who was like a like a role model to him like a oh it's just some some skinny boy some skinny teenage boy who who's going out doing superhero stuff man that that I relate to that like I'm a skinny teenage boy look at this he was skinny t Andrew was I guess Andrew was talking about himself but he's also just a skinny kid and he's like man it'd be my dream to be it'd be my dream to to play this character I guess I guess it's just because Spider-Man, Peter Parker, whoever is a character, just like a nice guy role model, like a like a good person. He's funny. He's 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 quippy, but he also has good morals. Always tries to do the right thing, but always seems to get the short end of the stick in the end. Like at the end of like in the in Into the Spider-Verse, he dies. In at the end of No Way Home, nobody remembers who he is and he loses everyone he cares about. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the, the inf I guess infamous um, clock tower scene, just all kinds of stuff that really go wrong for for Peter and whoever whoever Spider-Man is in that, in that time. And in the recent, in, in the in across the Spider-Verse when. Um, Miles loses, um, loses all, basically loses trust in all of his friends um, that he made in the first movie. It's, it kind of it kind of shows that Spider-Man never really really wins. You know, he might he might he does a lot of good, but never really wins. And I think the thing that really makes him stand out is that he never stops trying. He never stops trying to do good. He's always he's always. He's always doing his best to do what's best for everyone else and to help help people to be that kind of iconic like symbol for hey even though like life sucks even though you're trying to be a better person even though you're becoming a better person bad stuff's still gonna happen but the point 
the point isn't that the bad things are going to keep happening. The point is to keep trying to be better and to keep pushing yourself to be a better person. And in my opinion, that's that's what makes Spider-Man such an icon. He he ta he really takes the line with great power comes great responsibility to heart. He has a responsibility to not only himself but to those that he cares about and to people that he may not even know that he just saves on a daily basis. It, it shows it shows who he is as a person and and how he wants the world to be, which is just a better place overall. So um, I hope my ramblings weren't too incoherent. I just wanted to make this. For, I just wanted to do another one of these videos. I had Spy I've had Spider Man on the brain since the since Across the Spider Verse came out. It's just kind of been like holy crap that movie was awesome and now I'm just like I'm just like looking into everything that's Spider-Man related so that's kind of it that's my take on <laughs> on why I think Spider-Man is so uh, is so popular I hope you enjoyed this video um, hope it wasn't too uh, too rambly I guess but uh, anyway I'll see you later thanks for watching